Hey there, this is Lady Dreamers and welcome. Long time no see on the cooking videos. Uh, I was going to do one for November, had no time. Do something for December, had no time. Did one for January, well, I already have January filled. I might put this particular uh, cooking video as the last slot in January. So, welcome to the January cooking vlog. Whatever. I am making meatloaf. And this is what we were going to have for dinner anyway. And I thought, why not make a video of it? And um, that way, it's very easy. Uh, something that, uh, you know, you put in the oven, nice and done comfort food we all need comfort food at this time so what i do is i get those big things of chicken and hamburger and uh, a big kind of like let broil anything and then i cut it down into like three meals uh and so this is about a pound of ground beef. Um, it's in here because um, I put them in, when I separate them, I put them in the freezer. I had to defrost it and then I just plopped it in here. And I'll show you the picture of the ingredients right here. And the rest. As you saw in the, the picture of the ingredients, you use a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. You use one tablespoon of uh, cheese, you know, the way that my mom makes it, she likes to put cheese in there. Now, on these two, she says a dash. Now, I was doing some figuring before I set up the camera. I'd say a half a teaspoon of this and a half a teaspoon of that. Or you can, you know, flavor as you want. Now on this, this, you know, you want onions in there. There's three ways of getting onions in there. One is a package of Lipton onion soup mix, the dry run, and you can dump that in there. And if you do that, you don't really need this and that. You just do the onion soup mix and breadcrumbs, egg, one egg, and away you go. Now, the second way is to get fresh onion. And then you can do this, yeah, the oregano and parsley and cheese if you want. And the breadcrumbs. Don't forget that egg. And, um, and the third way is my minced onion. Do a tablespoon of the minced onion. So... What you do is I pre-measured all that fun stuff because I wanted to make sure I had the uh, measurements right to tell you because pinch of this and dash of that doesn't really tell you anything. So, we we'll dump that in there. We get the egg. And let me show you down here. Get you a little bit closer. Yeah. There, that's as good as we're gonna get it, folks. Now you can always break the egg into a cup to make sure you don't get any shells, yada yada yada. Or just break it in here now you can use a spoon or your fork or your hands to uh, mix and it's easier to just use your hand 
they say don't over mix because it makes the uh, the meat kind of tough but sometimes you gotta over mix a little bit to get all the ingredients incorporated so here we go then you transfer the meat mixture into a greased pan. Let me show you the pan. Then move you around here. Aha! Eureka! We can see it! So, I normally grease, here's my iPad, normally grease with uh, Pam and then I add a little bit of butter uh, or Pam is a quarter of full but nothing's coming out so I pre-greased with butter. You have to grease the pan because the meat will stick to it and here's why it's called meat loaf. For those of you that don't know, you shape it into a loaf. Voila! And then, what you can do to give it that extra little something something is you cover it with ketchup, uh, barbecue sauce, or a mixture of both. One time I did a mixture of both and that was good. I, I like the old uh, fashion. Now, on this, it's once again, you have the, uh, you don't really know the whole ingredients. So I would say a quarter of a cup. Um, otherwise, you can eyeball it like I did right here. And then you just take your, with a spoon, if you're doing this for uh, other than yourself and family. And if you're doing it with family, do your hand. And there you go. A little bit, make sure. And um, let me wipe off my hands on here. <laughs> so, you can put any vegetables you want. I, get that out of the way. I am doing carrots, about a cup of carrots. You spread them around. And how many you do is how many you have in the house. We're just cooking for two. And then take your potato and if you, you can slice it into like kind of cubes, french fries. I like slicing them thin and then they're kind of like, uh, they get all crispy and everything against here and tastes so good. And also the, uh, you, I cover a little bit more butter, salt and pepper on top and, uh, all the juices and everything get into the potatoes and the carrots. It's like literally to die for. And then preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And then you cook for about 40, 45 minutes. Now, this is depending on how your stove is. Uh, if your stove is extra hot, then put it for uh, 40 minutes. If your stove doesn't get that hot per se, 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, now here's a little butter I like to put around. This may seem like a lot, but it really makes it absolutely wonderful because um this is how mom and i mom and i make baked chicken and in place of the meatloaf we put a chicken breast with some salt pepper oregano and uh, minced onion and do the same around wow 
That's all I'm going to say about that. So, I'll be back. And wait a minute. Uh, I'll be back in about an hour to show you the ending uh, thingy and we're not, try not to get under lights. I'm in the spotlight. Yay! Look at it. Finished. And let me see. The juices are like literally bubbling in here. I'm going to see if you can see it in here. But this is finished project and that's your meatloaf now you can put this on a plate but mom and I just like to put it in a bowl so let me get it's not a video but out my uh, pajama pants is it so You just slice and away you go. I forgot to get it. It's nice to like scoop up the, uh, you, you get all kind of toasty here. And yeah, just want to show you this is how the potatoes come out kind of crusty and all good and all that little juices and things very good so the pan does a little bit better now this will fall apart when you put it together because that's how it is. So you just plop it in plate with some veggies. And And that's what's for dinner. Yeah. As you can see, I turned down the lights a little bit. It's really moist and good. Now, if you want, you can add more ketchup to it, some barbecue sauce, whatever. You can uh, make meatloaf sandwiches. And um, I can tell you, this is going to be um, dinner at work tomorrow, too, because as you can see, it's a little bit more. This is like for three. And. Um, like I said, these are so good. So, this is Lady Jamers saying try my version of meatloaf. It's very good. And I'll have how to after this. And um, a little kind of mem picture I showed with uh, Oliver asking for meatloaf. I'm sure he would like to have this meatloaf. Uh, anything that is people related, he likes. So, hope you have a great day. This is Lady Jamer saying we will see you later. Bye-bye.